hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by in today's video i am going to show you how i transform this old synthetic wig into a brand new one so guys help me to subscribe if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by please help me to click on that red subscription box below and if you are already a subscriber thank you so much for sticking with me you guys are the reason why I made it this far. That is why I'm smiling. Without you guys, I won't get to this level. Thank you so much for my old subscribers. Thank you for the new ones because I know there will be new ones. I believe in you guys. I believe you're not gonna pass me by. Oh yes, you're not gonna pass my channel by. Thank you for clicking that red subscription box below. <laughs> The person that owns this wig did not bring it for me to renew. She actually brought it for me to help her and remove the spongy area, that is the back, the tangled area. But I told her that I can help her to renew the wig. She refused at the initial time. Because to her, trying to renew a synthetic wig, we end up spoiling everything. I told her not to worry, that I will be careful with it. So she accepted with a condition that I must not touch the upper side. So the first thing I did was to brush it, you know, to brush the area that I'm going to work on, to detangle it and make it a bit free. After doing that, I stretch it with your stretcher. And when you want to stretch the synthetic hair, don't use a high heat. You have to reduce it to the lowest level as you can see here. Right now, I'm going to start stretching the hair one after the other. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to separate the one I want to stretch from the bunch of hair. Detangle it very well. Then before I start stretching, like this. Can you see the difference? The hair is very smooth and beautiful now. Please, I would like you to watch this video to the end because it has a lot to teach on how to handle a synthetic hair. Do you guys notice what I did? The stretcher is becoming very hot, so I unplug it. When you're stretching and you notice that the stretcher is becoming hot, you need to unplug it, remove the head from the socket so that it will not burn the hair. Remember, it's synthetic hair we are dealing with. Now the stretcher is becoming cool, so I need to plug it back. And again, I reduce it. I reduce the heat. You can see that. That's what you should do when you are handling a synthetic wig. So that you won't damage the hair. Look at how beautiful the hair is looking. Do you even believe that it's that chaff, that spongy hair? The next thing I'm going to do is to coil it with my rollers and my bobby pin. See the rollers. And here is the bobby pin. Blink and you stare And if I say too much 
Okay, the next step now is to put the roll inside in a hot water. And I'm going to use my instant conditioner. You can see it. Please feel free to use any conditioner of your choice. The importance of conditioner is to soften the hair after the hot water. The difference doesn't mean anything. I poured the conditioner inside my plate and added my hot water. After that, I mix it together. Now watch me doing this. I dip the hair inside the hot water direct, as if I'm calling my attachments. But why doing that? I need to be careful with the upper side. Because if the place that are in no row enter the hot water, it's going to damage the coils on that side. This is the next day. The hair has completely dried. Let's check it out. Can you see that coils? Oh my god, can you see it? Can you see how beautiful the hair is looking? Hmm. I bet you the owner of this wig will definitely regret not allowing me to coil the whole wig. This is beautiful. <laughs> you can agree with me, very beautiful. Please hold on, let's check it out together. Wow. wow this is very lovely the wig is new and beautiful just check it out look at the old side check it out check it out with the new one tell me what you think you can't even believe it was that punchy old wig wow if you find this video interesting please don't forget to give me a like also send me your comment in the comment section below just like i always say your contribution means a lot to me don't forget to share this video you never can tell who you might be doing a favor once again i just want to say thank you for subscribing to my channel thank you once again for my returning viewers thank you also for my new subscribers if you would like to see more of my videos please don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you can be notified each time i post a new video we have come to the end of this video see you next time bye bye